Hello everyone, I'm Chocolate Bird here for another video review. This time we have Mackies of Scotland, traditional milk, dairy milk chocolates. Yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, there we go, yep. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't sure if I said it all right. There we go, thanks very much to Scotty for providing this to me. Um, I think it's Scotty125ish, I think. Is his name either on Instagram or YouTube, one or the other, but thank you so much. I'm sorry it took so long to uh, review this. <laughs> he sent it to me ages ago, and um, I've been meaning and mean to do it, and um, I just had such a backlog, and to be honest with you, I've actually given up on at least... At least, and I'm not exaggerating, 50 bars of chocolate <laughs> in my backlog because they're just, um, I just can't get around to doing them and obviously they have a sell-by date. And luckily these are just in date actually. I think they've got maybe another month on them. So um, in fact, no, September 2020. So I've got plenty of time. So uh, yeah, but I thought I'd best get them done because um, <laughs> I really want to review them and I've just, you know, yeah. So I'm so sorry it took so long, but thank you so much again. Um, yeah, so basically I don't really know much. I mean, I, I live in uh, the UK, but I live in England. Um, and I've not seen um, any Mackies of, choc um, of chocolate, Mackies of Scotland chocolate um, in the UK before, in well, in England before. Um, so I don't know, maybe it's just they're only sold in certain shops, or um, I don't know, or maybe, as I say, it is a Scottish company. So what does it say? World-class indulgence from a family farm in Scotland. So there we go. So that's, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think as, um, Scotty saw me, Scotty saw me uh, enjoying Faser's chocolate from Finland so much that he thought, I've got to get a... <laughs> A good example from Scotland, so that's what he's done. So, um, yes, and uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's really nice. Him, so thank you so much again. And um, yeah, so it says a deliciously smooth and creamy milk chocolate. Find out more and join us at mackies.co.uk, Facebook forward slash Mackies of Scotland. So there we go. So, yeah, very excited about this. Now, unfortunately, it's a warm day out today, so I'm a bit worried that it might start melting very easily in the hand. So, um, but yeah, I think you say it looks very nice. Um, I'm quite impressed with this. Now, there's a couple of other bars he sent as well, actually, I've got to get reviewed. So, I've got uh, Honeycomb as well. And we've also got uh, Mint. So, I'm hopefully going to get these reviewed as well uh, in the very near couple, um, well, the next couple of days, hopefully. <laughs> the only problem with reviewing chocolate, of course, is the fact you've got to eat it. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse, as you can imagine, because the blessing is that you, you know, obviously, you eat chocolate. But the curse is, you know, you can literally only do so much. Uh, so luckily I'm kind of tied by my um, recording equipment, so it limits to me with about four or five videos. Five videos, I think, at any one time, so it means I have to... It's a self-imposed restriction, really, because it means I have to then edit and upload the videos before I can start on another five videos. Um, so it's quite good in a way, but um, it does mean it's quite difficult time-wise to eat the chocolate, review it, and then to edit it and upload it. You know, you can only do so much at one time. So yeah, so that's why I've got this bag log and I just can't get through it. Because <laughs> new chocolate comes out, of course. So yeah, so it looks very nice. It's like, I, like, I like the colours. Um, yeah, I like the uh, the cow there as well. See, sort of um, played on the fact there's a Scot uh, uh, sort of a farm in Scotland that produces it. So yeah, I mean, of course, obviously, they're, you know, they're not just... Well, I assume it's not just one guy and his dog uh, running this farm because obviously they've uh, packaged it and sent it around. So, you know, it's obviously something... More to it than that, but it's still uh, very nice. Um, yeah, so what have we got here? So it's, I think it's a 120 gram bar. So we've got per 100 grams, but we've also got per square, and we've also got per 120 gram bar, so that's really good. So, um, yeah, because the, the amount of times where it's 120 gram bar and it gives us just per 100 grams or something. And they actually give us per square as well, which I think is really good. Um, so, you know, it's we can, the scales are coming through a bit, and it's basically a 3 by 8 bar, I think looks of it so yeah so it's 24 squares um and it roughly adds up as well because it's uh, roughly anyways it's 676 calories for the whole thing 43.4 grams of fat 26.2 which is saturates uh, and for a um <coughs> excuse me um where was i yes so for per square so 81624 so 24 for the bar um 32 calories 2.1 grams of fat 1.2 which is saturates so there we go. So it roughly adds up, if you imagine it. So if you basically, it's 24 squares, so times it by 10, 320, times it by 2, 640, that's 20 squares. And then you're left with four more, which is roughly, yeah, which is, um, yeah, 16, 24, yeah, four more. Hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't quite add up, so I don't quite know. <laughs> I mean, obviously a square, yeah, I mean, a square is, well, I don't know. It doesn't quite add up, I don't know why that is. Um, but there we go. Yeah, I always feel like my maths is wrong when I do that. But 640, 816, 24. Unless it's less than 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Oh, maybe it's only 7. 
Yeah, you know, seven by three. So there we go. That's why seven fourteen twenty one. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So that does make more sense. It's still. I think it's still two calories and unaccounted for, but um, we'll let them off that. <laughs> yeah, six hundred forty now. No thirty two. Yeah. Fourteen twenty one. Yeah, mm. yeah, 640, 672, and there's four calories left. Yeah, four calories left over, so I don't know where they are. Maybe they're in a wrapper. I don't know. <laughs> but there we go. Okay, so there we are. So, yeah, not too bad, that. Not too bad at all. Um, yeah, so it says minimum milk size 21%, minimum cocoa size 34%. Non-GMO, still in a cool, dry place, away from direct light. Artificial colours or flavourings. Has soya in it and milk. So there we go. Right, yeah, very nice. So I think it looks very nice. I love the packaging, as I say. It's only, only a colour difference between the different types. You know, green for the mint and orange for the honeycomb, which I'm very excited about. I'm excited about them all, really, but, you know, I love honeycomb. <laughs> so there we go. So, um, yeah, I think it's a nice blue. I think blue does seem to go for a lot of companies' milk chocolate. Phase, at least, have phase of blue. I like the gold as well around the edge. So it's very nice. Right, I think we should uh, give it an open. It's got the flow wrap, may easily open and reseal. I'm not really sure about the reseal part. They always say this, but uh, maybe if you glue it, but <laughs> I don't think, you, well, you can close it again. I don't think you can reseal it. Um, there we go. Yep, so there we are. Hmm. Yep, there's much more to say. And Mac is a traditional day in milk chocolate. It's just on both sides. Okay, let's uh, give it an open. <laughs> right, okay, everyone, so let's give this an open then. So, um, yeah, quite excited about this, so I'll open it uh, nice and carefully. So as I say, it's very warm outside today, um, so it's even warmer inside my house. So I'm a bit worried I might experience some meltage here, especially with me handling it, but i um, just have to take that risk. Okay, so there we go. So first it's falling apart in a bit, so um, yeah, it's some kind of strange... I don't know what that is. Kind of weird. I don't know. Some dark bit on there. Not sure what that is. Okay, so it's, uh, oh, it's a shame it's broken because um, it's got a really nice pa uh, pattern on it actually. Um, so it's got Mackies on both sides. <laughs> so they can't do the, the Yorkie trick if they reduce the size of it because we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll know. But uh, yes, yeah, so a Mackies, that's probably why it's got seven. So Yorkie, for those you don't know, they used to do the same thing, and uh, but then they reduced the size of the bar, so they couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> so we've got Mackies on both sides, and then, um, yeah, I think it's pictures of cows, I think. Yeah, pictures of cows, so, yeah, that's not, that's quite nice, isn't it? So you can see a 7 by 3 bar. Hopefully you can see that. Obviously I can't lift it vertically because <laughs> it'll slide off the plate. But there we go. That's very nice, that. I'll just give you as close as I can get so you can hopefully see it. Hmm, I like that. It's a nice design. But yeah, for some reason on mine, I don't know what it is. There's some kind of... I don't know what that is. You can see that. Some kind of... I don't know. Hopefully it's uh, nothing dodgy, but uh, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> hmm, so I don't know what that is. I tried to just clear it off a bit with the nails. It's come off. It's a bit solid. I don't know. It could be like some... It could be... Chocolate related. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of the the matter with some of my things. I'm not sure what that is. That's a bit of a. I don't know if it's a one off or not, but I don't know what that is. Hmm. I don't get the impression it's chocolate, to be honest with you. It feels quite powdery. Hmm. So I don't know what to make of that. Not a good sign, really, I don't think. So, you know, hopefully it's not. I assume it's not a common thing to have. I don't think it was soil, but it had a consistency a bit like that so I don't know what it was mm, could be just a dried cocoa nib or something but who knows okay so it's a nice design you can see there like that yeah so it's fine so, you know there's nothing in it really so obviously it's just milk chocolate so I'll say it's going to be very melty today so I'm not going to handle it too too much um, let's give it a measure so across it's about 7.2 centimeters that's yeah, so let's have a see. Hmm. Yeah, about 7.5 at the bottom. And about 7.2 at the top. Maybe 7.1 actually. There we go. Yeah, lengthwise, just flip it over. So it's a bit harder to measure it when it's 
collapsed a bit, so give or take a millimetre, but yeah, it's about uh, about 17.5 centimetres, maybe 17.4. There we go. And height wise, it's obviously gaps in it, but it's about one point, sorry, about 0 0.8 centimetres high. There is a trough. A trough. A half a centimetre, roughly. 8.4 actually. Okay, so we go. So yes, yeah, so it's melting a bit. So we best. Uh, I think we need to just get straight into this and uh, give it a taste. <laughs> so let's do it. It looks very nice, though. Yeah, mm. excited about this. But yeah, very a bit dubious about the strange powdery thing on this one bit of it. I don't know what that's about. So hopefully it's uh, nothing poisonous. So we'll see. <laughs> if I'm dead, that's what happened. <laughs> okay, let's give it a taste. Okay, everyone. Right. Okay, so we're here to taste the Mackey's of Scotland traditional milk day milk chocolate bar. So thanks so much again, uh, Scotty, for sending me this. So I'm going to try just one of the squares. So uh, the K, why not? <laughs> mm. Yeah, very exciting. It looks very creamy and nice, actually. Uh, yeah, so mm. let's give it a go. Mm, it is. Mm. Interesting. It's quite a creamy bar, but... um. As in, it's very soft. I mean, it, obviously, it's quite warm today, so you know. But um, but I've, you know, you can tell anyway. It's quite a soft bar, quite a soft chocolate, but it's not um and creamy in that respect. But it's not um at least sickly. I think it's quite 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 a good balance actually. You can clearly see by the colour of it actually that it is quite a milky, creamy chocolate. Very sort of light brown, isn't it? You know, very smooth looking as well. Mm. Almost like um, galaxy chocolate actually. It's that kind of consistency actually. Mm. It does remind me also of galaxy chocolate. Mm. It's nice, yeah. Mm. I like it. I think um I think it's very it's very similar to Galaxy Chocolate actually. It does taste I mean I don't know if it's I won't say it's the same, but it's similar. It's got the same level of creaminess to it. It's that same same type of cream. It's not like a Belgian chocolate, which I'm not too mad on. It's just too creamy. This is more milky than creamy, and I think, um, in, you know, in my own official explanations of it. <laughs> um, and yeah, and better than Ritter Sports. Well, I quite like this. It's nice. Mm. Mm. I think it's basically, if you like galaxy chocolate, then this is well up your street because it's very... Um, mm. Mm. Yeah, to me it's in that same ballpark. Mm. Mm. I like it a lot. I think um, mm, I mean it's very nice. As I say it's got that, it's got that perfect balance of a creamy chocolate for me. This is this is what I want from a creamy chocolate, really. Not sort of. You know, I refer to them as milky chocolate. <laughs> it is milk chocolate, but also it's not overly sickly. It's not a sickly taste. It's just a nice, a nice balance between um, chocolate and sort of the milk taste of it. I guess. Hmm. I say very reminiscent of Galaxy. Um, it's not too far away from Galaxy, to be honest with you. I don't think. Um, you know, obviously maybe. I don't know, people in Scotland might be going uh, <laughs> in uproar to hear that. <laughs> if this is sort of their, their, their sort of national chocolate, I'm not sure, but. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been to say if it's better than Galaxy or not. Hmm. Um, but I would say what this does have going over Galaxy is obviously it's got all the different types. It's got this um, honeycomb one going on and the mint one. So I think if you're ever thinking, oh, well, you know, I've, I really like Galaxy chocolate, but I, uh, I've always wanted. <clears throat> different flavourings or different um, kinds or whatever, then I believe, um, <clears throat> excuse me, then I believe this will definitely be up your street. Um, mm. No, I like it a lot. It's really nice. I think, uh, mm. Mm. might be slightly more mm. creamy than Galaxy, maybe, just a slight bit. Hmm. And I think for me that works against it because hmm, it's very close. I'm not sure. It's very close. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's creamier than um, Galaxy in a bad way, but I don't know. Maybe, almost, maybe. I'm not sure. But um, hmm, but I like it. It's definitely that. It's definitely that kind of chocolate. So if you're if you're if you know as I say, well, if you just like Galaxy chocolate, then this is for you basically. Um, 
If you prefer things to be a bit more linty, gooey or um, ritter sporty in regards to chocolate, then this is this has gone the other way. This is more, this is less sickly, less creamy, more sort of a. Let's say, well, I mean, it is creamy, but it's not that that sort of cream where it's a sickly taste. In my eyes, uh, I think this is better. Mm. So I really like it. I like it a lot. But um, yeah, whether I prefer than phase of chocolate, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, Scotty. I hope you don't mind. But I think um, possibly, possibly don't. But um, it's very close because, uh, as I say, I do like galaxy chocolate, and this is very similar. And um, I like it a lot. So I think I'm going to say, hmm, really like it. Definitely recommend it. I think four out of five. I think for me, I think this is. Um, Really nice chocolate, and I've never tasted it before. It's a really nice surprise. I didn't know even though it existed. Um, it was really nice to know about it, and uh, yeah. So, hmm. I'm not sure what the uh, quality issue was on the back of that sort of dark space, but I think that's probably a one-off, and probably it is probably just some kind of chocolate um, substance that's involved in the chocolate making process or something like that. So it's probably not poisonous or anything. So, <laughs> you know, but it was a bit. It was hard. It was a bit sort of gr you know gritty. Um, you know, a bit of a strange, yeah, I don't know what it was, but uh, hmm, maybe like a dried cocoa bean or something, I'm not sure, but hmm, I don't know, should have been there though really, so, you know, but I'll give it a better for the down, mark it down for that, so um, yeah, I'm going to stick with a 4 out of 5, very nice, very similar to Galaxy, very reminiscent of it, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm very interested in tasting the, uh, the other types of um, these Mackey's bars, like the mint and the honeycomb, because for me, I've always wanted more in Galaxy really, and um, different flavours, you don't get mint Galaxy, you maybe get a honeycomb one, maybe, but usually it's just caramel or variations of. So I'm not even sure you do get a honeycomb one. So hmm, I'm interested. Looking forward to that as well. So yeah. Hmm. Well, check out those reviews if you like this one. Check out my other reviews as well. Um follow me to see my videos, Instagram as well, things like this. And uh, I'll see you next time. Leave comments on free as well, of course. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now. See ya. Bye.